It's JB here with Active Mobility Innovations. Today we are going to be setting up a Bruno Custom Curve Lift. It is going to be set up here. We're going up our first flight of stairs. We're doing a 180 curve. You can see there's our rail, our 180 rail. It's going to be set here. It's going to curve around this, go up our first flight. We're going to do a 90 degree bend right here to a nine, another 90 degree bend. And we're going to go up our second flight of stairs. Today I have with me the great and wonderful Scott Patton. All right, he's going to be my assistant for today. The stairlift will stop right about here on the second landing. And then our customer will be able to uh, walk the length of this hallway with a assistive device, most likely a walker. Uh, this is going to be a very special and custom job because we are actually going to have something different. We're going to have a stop station uh, right here. So he will be able to park his chair and chassis right there and it will be able to charge along with the bottom half of the rail and also with the top there will also be charging stations. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get ready. We know we have nine boxes, nine pieces, which we've already verified. You always wanna make sure you double check uh, before you leave and when you receive the shipment itself. What we're gonna do now is we need to uh, unpack everything. We need to um, open up all of our boxes, get our parts laid out, um, and start the assembly. Each one of these rails is labeled right here you'll see one so that is the first one that you will start with uh, don't mind that that damage done these are shipping brackets so they're they're put here on each end of the rail to uh, sustain damage um, and that's why you see everything is wrapped up really good in cardboard so we'll be all set so we need to take off these uh, shipping brackets off of both ends and then once we do that we just need to follow our install guide and start with number one, like we're doing right now. So now we're going to start unboxing. The hyperlapse that it looked like. Here we are, uh, we have unboxed, unpacked everything. Uh, now we're going to start with uh, phase two, which is taking off these uh, shipping brackets off the end of each rail. Once we get that done, we can go ahead and start to sort them in numerical order uh, from least to greatest. And then as you can see, these are the brackets that come for each of our rails. So each one of these will correspond to a certain section of the rail. All right, so we'll get to all that once we start uh, assembling the rails together using our install guide. And there's our nice plush seat. And underneath that is the uh, carrier itself. And then in that box far over here, that is gonna be some accessories and uh, some cover plates. So now we're going to start with phase two. Here we go, taking off those end plates, those shipping brackets. On a scale of one to ten, how easy is it to remove those shipping brackets? It varies because it seems like some are actually uh, can be loosened by hand, and others you have to torque it pretty hard, so it's pretty inconsistent. And what size socket are you using for those? 17 mil. He's got the bracket off of this one. He's got it off both rails. We've got all of our parts laid out. Just got a couple more rails to go. We'll be all set. This is what our project is going to look like when it's finished. 
see this is our starting point at the bottom. It's going to go up our first set of stairs to our landing, go up our second set of steps to the upper landing. And they will be so happy to be able to get upstairs now. So we've got Scott, he's about to finish the uh, removal of the shipping brackets off the last section of rail. You see there. This is our lower landing charging plate. This is part of one of the first steps to the rail assembly. You see here, this is a list of uh, the tools that you will need. You will notice that there is uh, something missing here. As far as the tools that are needed, it does not list a brain. So that's pretty good. Our first step here is to, after removing our protective shipping brackets, we're going to install this lower uh, plate end, which is this piece right here. There's the hardware for it to install it. It's going to go on the very end of our rail section. We also want to install our charging bracket. Uh, they do not show how to do this, so you're really just up to your own and how to figure it out. I did see some pictures in the very back about how it looks like when it's installed, but it still doesn't give you a lot as to how to do it. Good job, guys. I remember calling in to the manufacturers about this last time and they didn't really have a good way of explaining it to me either. So we'll figure it out and uh, we'll show you how we did that. We're looking at the uh, front side of our first section of rail. We, you see we've got our end cap on. You only want to put the end cap on the first section. You don't want to put it on the last. Uh, we see right here we've got two pre-drilled holes inside the front section of the rail. Uh, these holes are for your uh, charging dock and you can either put it here or here depending on the application. It's got another set of pre-drilled holes at the bottom. You will see the hardware pieces that come with it. They do have blue uh, Loctite on it. and You can see here on the other side that is our charging bracket. So it would have been nice had they just, you know, shown that in the instruction, but that's how it gets installed. If you see this on one of your sections of rail, especially where a curve is about to uh, happen, where the rack is offset, like it is right here, that is completely normal. So. Do not freak out when you see that. Hey, Our final look at the rail. Completely installed. Yes sir, this is the final product right here. Got the head honcho Scott Patton, office manager of Active Mobility Innovations, test driving this beast. Don't get a speeding ticket. Seven hour install time. Well, for all you amateurs out there. I think we did it in like five. Station. So we do have one charging station right there at midpoint. Ninety degree rocker switch. And we've got our last charging port at the very top. Smooth as butter.